Hello everyone, um, Stuke here, doing a team challenge tonight for Dustin and Blake. They asked uh, everyone to show cards from one of their favorite teams or their favorite team. And it um, just happens that I've got the same team as he does, as they do. Um, Got a few autographs, got a few cards, and then end, end up, and we'll end with a big Harmon Kilbrew card. First one I'll start with is signed 1988 Super Value card of Juan Beringer. Spent an afternoon talking to Juan at a baseball card show in my local town. Was, he had a lot of great stories, great guy to talk to. And he loves to golf as one of his golfing buddies that was a promoter of the show who runs the local LCS here in town but Juan's a great guy if you ever get a chance to meet him next one I have is a Minnesota Twins team issue card and this is uh, signed by manager Tom Kelly and this was at spring training. I happened to mention to him that it was 20 below when I left Minnesota. And he goes, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> and then he kind of laughed. But that's a 1984 Twins team issue card signed by Tom Kelly. Next we have Jim Cott, 1965 trade block Twins card. Jim had a great year in 65, finished it off with uh, one win in the World Series, and he lost the finale to Sandy Koufax. Um, tough end of the season, but he had a great season overall. And he's a current Hall of Famer. Here's a 1969 Transagram Caesar Tovar. And this is the whole top panel. Um, a lot of the times you can just cut off that little square picture on the end and, and you can get PSA to grade it, authenticate it so that um, people know what you're talking about. Next we have the 1965 American League Most Valuable Player. Zoilo Versalis. This is the 1965 McGregor card of Zoilo. Had a great year in 65, along with a lot of other twins like Jim Cott, who I previously mentioned. Here's another guy that played for those 65 twins it's Bob Allison and this is his 1965 old London coin paper proof and that's how the picture would look like in the coin if you're familiar with the old London coin Bob was a nice guy he left us too soon with ALS big guy too six foot four Next I have 1972 SO coin from Puerto Rico. Rod Carew. And the back is in Spanish. I've shown this in a recent video, 1985 All-Star Game Program insert, Kirby Puckett, rookie card, 1991, he said, get on my back and I'll carry you, and he did in the World Series, Game 6, walk-off home run, And here's a 1967 test disc by Topps, Tony Oliva. 
I had this in a in a video before, but it's one of a kind item test issue back is blank and it looks like they were going to make pins out of them it says Japan in the upper edge there so this is what might be similar to the Bob Allison that was a proof paper proof for a coin and here's my big card it's a 1961 Manny's Baseball Land 8 by 10 of Harmon Killebrew these are really great black and white photos of the teams from back then. You can see what Manny's Baseball Land 1961. It's just a great item to get, and they're not that easy to get. You can find them on eBay. You know, they're rather cheap there. I'll keep, I like to keep it in that so I don't end up bending the corners, bending it in half, or tearing it or something um, but I'd like to thank uh, Dustin and Blake for this uh, challenge I had a good time digging these cards out and I'll have a good time putting them back but it was worth it check out their channel if you get a chance um, it's well worth your time have, they have a great Kirby Puckett collection over there and a lot of great autographs um, with that being said uh, thanks everybody for watching and have a good good night.